mountain is a great feat, but to climb all of the world's seven highest summits is extraordinary. Today's Jenna Wolf visited with one man on a special mission. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning, Meredith. Special may be an understatement. Despite what some consider a debilitating condition, this man wanted to climb. And as he's done his entire life, he refused to take no for an answer. At 29,000 feet, Mount Everest is the highest mountain on Earth, but it is just one of the world's highest summits. There are seven, one dotting each of the seven continents. Few people have climbed just one. Even fewer have done all seven. Paul Fatek and his wife Denise would like to join that elite group. Is this your biggest challenge? Biggest challenge. We've done a lot of things. We're not exactly couch potatoes. It's an 18 triathlons, but still, and all the other six summits, this will definitely be the biggest challenge of our lifetimes. So what makes Paul different from the others who have accomplished the feat before him? Nothing, according to Paul, except that he is basically doing it with one hand. OK, then we're going to get the claw on. Paul has brachial plexus palsy. It's a condition that has rendered his right hand almost useless. Well, I was a large baby over 11 pounds. And during birth, the nerves that connect my right arm to my spine were partially severed. It was a birth injury. But Paul's mom never let his condition affect his passion. My mom was really the greatest motivating factor that gave me the attitude that I have towards really everything in my life. So she put me on the swim team. She signed me up for drum lessons, judo practice, taught me how to water ski. And as a kid, I'm like, didn't anybody tell this lady my arm doesn't work like all the other kids? And where he lacks in hand strength, he makes up for in creativity. This is the claw. This is the claw. This is the claw. I just don't have the gripping strength in my right hand, and my fingers just really can't hold on to these handholds as well. Paul came up with the idea on his own. You know, just walked into Home Depot, and I had an idea in my mind of what I needed to do, and I found a coat hook in the coat hook section and attached it to this brace and, and that you know, was it, it does a trick. So you couldn't climb at all then without this? Not not something like like this, no. Paul is driven and focused, but he's also grateful, especially to his wife. Denise is everything to me and she just makes this type of an endeavor so much more rewarding to be able to do that with her side by side. I'm incredibly fortunate to have her with me. The most focused, loving, supportive husband ever, 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 ever. He's such a gift to me. Do you know how many people have died trying to climb Mount Everest? One out of every 10 people that have reached the summit of Everest have perished. So we just rely on our experience and our training, our decisions that we've made prior to getting ourselves into a dangerous situation. This was two months ago, just as they were getting ready to summit Mount Everest, the last and most difficult challenge of the seven. There are some pretty spectacular views. Absolutely breathtaking. Facing high winds and the expected treacherous conditions, Paul and Denise slowly pushed on and up the mountain. Toe and heel. Just as they were going to reach the top, a few hundred vertical feet from the summit, Paul's hand became bitterly cold and at risk of frostbite. He thought he may have to turn back. But he didn't. And after eight years of climbing mountain after mountain, after seven weeks, this one alone, depleted and exhausted, they finally reached the top of Mount Everest. I hope some people look at their challenges and say, hey, if that guy can do it, I've got two good arms, two good legs, why can't I take on some challenge? Paul and Denise are now raising money for an important cause. Everybody to Everest for the Challenged Athletes Foundation. And for more on that, you can head to our website. Wonderful people, great story, big, big hearts. It was really nice Good to see you. Wow. Well, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. We're back after your local news. Mm.